I have often felt so very different from people around me. My life has had a series of times where I did feel completely different in not so good ways. Maybe you have felt that way too. It started when my daddy, my best friend, died when I was three in a car accident. I noticed that all the other little kids had daddies. At five years old, my brother teasingly told me that he and my sister had a different father than me. Wait, you do? Oh, I must be so left out of the family because of that. At five and a half, I was diagnosed with Perthes disease. My hip was not functioning correctly. I had to use crutches for a solid year and a half until I was seven. I couldn't run and play with the other kids. I had to sit in the principal's office every day during recess and after lunch. The kids called me the little crutch girl. Not very innovative, but the label stuck anyway. At 12 years old, I lost my mom and now I was an orphan no parents whatsoever. Yet my mom had asked my sister to raise me. She was married and had a one-year-old and was putting my brother-in-law through college. I became the chief cook and bottle washer. This meant that I didn't really get a chance to have extracurricular activities after school or go to other kids' houses because I had to rush home and babysit. I really did feel different during those times. I wanted to be like other people. When I got married in my 20s, I thought, I am safely secure and all is well, yet my marriage was very dysfunctional. I hid it from everybody and I felt very different than all the other couples at church who seemingly had the perfect marriages. Being different has taught me that I have a choice. Being different isn't bad. What it has done, it's uniquely qualified me to serve and minister and be a helper to gals and women who've been through what I've been through. Nothing is a waste. Everything I've been through helps me, has equipped me to be uniquely qualified, as I mentioned, to love and cherish girls and women. I understand a lot of things that they've gone through and the emotions that they feel. I am so very thankful that I have been different all these years because it has resulted in a fine, fine uh, future for me in serving the women that I so love.